tune to this. So this is a song called Sand off the Alarm album, Circles End. And it starts with um, nice chords, some jazz chords. But I wanted to kind of explain to you how uh, like a, a picking idea helped me to write a song. So first we'll start with the idea. I'm bad with um, hybrid picking. I can only do a tiny bit with my middle finger. And so I try to make up an exercise for myself to help me get a little bit more of that happening. So I think we'll start with what notes I'm using. On the B string, it's gonna be 12 to eight. And then uh, what's easy? And I just thought, well, what's easy to do after that? So then I grabbed, um, what is that? G, 11, nine. And then that guy. Kind of reminds me of like a Marty Friedman type of deal. Or a Jason Becker, or just some. And then what I did was I took my middle finger and I, so my first note was always gonna be um, picked with my middle finger. It's a pretty easy process with the right hand. So bit of a, so anything with the 12th fret B string is done with the middle finger. Middle finger, pull off, down with the pick. Repeat it, pull off, and then down. So the, on the right hand, there are some downstrokes in a row, but because uh, you're doing pull offs as well, in between those, your right hand is not killing itself. In fact, it's so slow that you can actually do everything with uh, a pick and just do an upstroke there so, instead. I'm sick of this pattern, and I wanted a second pattern to kind of, so I can flip flop. So I just, I came here. And that's basically um, C sharp minor, pentatonic. So you got 12 on the B to nine. G is gonna be the same actually. And then you got 11 here, so this came up to this. Now you can still do the pinky. I think I think in the studio I did use a pick for all of it. I like that. I like that change. Um, so then I thought, well, that's pretty cool. I wonder what it would sound like to harmonize that. So I taped this on my phone probably a bunch of times. And then I, what I realize is, is that if you take this, this second pattern here and put it in the E minor area, that is the harmony to this one. Now this first one here, move it up here to the 12th fret. That's the second harmony to this one, which I find really, really bizarre. Maybe somebody could explain it to me. <laughs> so you're only using two shapes. It's insane. It blows my mind. Anyways, so I thought that was really, really cool. And hey, let's figure out what chords I could use behind that to maybe make a song. So this first thing here sounds really nice over this chord here, which is a C major nine. Second finger, A string, third fret. First finger, D string, second fret. And you've got your pinky on the fourth, the fourth fret of the fourth string, which is actually G string. And then you've got your, your ring finger here at the uh, B string, third fret, and you let this, which is actually the first chord in uh, sand. Now the second chord, which is this, is going to be, it's called a C sharp minor nine. So we're going from C major nine to C sharp minor nine. And I 
get that that uh, open string high E in there as well. So that looks like this. So your A string is fourth fret. Your D is a second fret. You've got uh, G and B fourth, and then an open. So. That's all I do is I add a little F sharp. You might not be able to hear it. Uh, I did that on clean guitar, I think twice. Acoustic steel string, I may have done it on um, nylon, I doubt it. Let's add some more glitz. So that happens for a bunch of times and then when the music stops it goes and it's going to be um, B string 9 to 12 to uh, ooh, 16. Don't quote me on it but I think the harmony is going to be um, 12, 16 to 19. And then to get out of that we... Do the same exact thing backward. And then we kick onto the metal, which I'll do a lesson on later. All right, cool. Thanks for hanging out.